Hi everyone, I'm gonna tell you some easy tips that you can do to get better audio. So there are actually five different ways to place your microphone. The first way is to shotgun from above. So that's what we've been doing. That's what we've been doing the whole time. That's probably the best way to do it if you can. So the second way would be to shotgun from below. So if you can't do it from above, do it from below. So the third best way to place your mic is using a lavalier microphone and placing it on your talent. So right now I have my little lavalier microphone and it's on me. <laughs> so with that placed, you can kind of see it a little bit. I could probably hide it a little bit better, but where it's placed is good. It's about six to 12 inches from my face and it's in the middle of my chest. It's not too low, it's not too high. It's just in the right area, six to 12 inches away, right? So that's a good spot for my lavalier. A bad spot for my lavalier and what I see people doing quite often is putting their lavalier too close to their mouth or right up on their shirt, on their collar, and you can see it and it's kind of annoying and that's too close. So yeah, I wouldn't do that. Try to avoid keeping it too close. If you can hear it, maybe it sounds a little bit muffled. It's probably not a good option. Unless you like the sound of it, then go for it. That's you. The other common mistake that I see is people using their labs and putting them too low, right? So they'll put them in like where their belly is, right? And yeah, it's out of the shot and it works, but that's too low. It's not six to 12 inches away. It's too far away. So you're probably not picking up clean audio by doing that. So six to 12 inches away, clipped right on your chest. You can either clip it to your shirt just like this and leave the cord dangling that's totally cool like news announcers and stuff they always use lavalier mics and you never see it i'm starting to pay attention to it you never see it so try doing that one time and i guarantee you nobody's going to tell you any different but the best way to do it would probably be to tape it to your chest or clip it to an undershirt like i did the fourth way would be to plant your shotgun microphone. So planting a microphone is just placing it somewhere out of frame, somewhere you can't see it, and just kind of sticking it in somewhere. So with this planting shotgun microphone, I just have it down to the side over here. And yeah, it's just kind of sitting off to the side, plant. So for example, you could take this mic and put it behind a plant or in between a plant between two people in an interview, so that way you wouldn't see the microphone, but the microphone would still be picking up audio. So the important thing with these shotgun microphones is they're unidirectional. So they're only gonna capture the audio coming from this area, just straight from the mic, straight to my mouth, that kind of thing. Kind of a little bit behind the mic, but not too much around the mic like the lavalier is. It's omnidirectional, so it's around the mic, whereas the shotgun mic is more directional towards something. So that's why I like to use the shotgun mic for dialogue shots like this. So what I'm gonna do is turn the mic around and you can probably start hearing that the mic is not picking up, my voice is good, now it's pointed directly at the camera. So it's picking up the audio reflections off that wall and bouncing back into the mic. Whereas if I turn the mic and point it directly towards me, now it's picking up direct audio and it should sound pretty good if it's not picking up the fact that my hands are shaking it. <laughs> All right, so the fifth best way to place your mic or probably the last way you should place your mic is doing a plant lavalier. So what we did is we took our lavalier and we just put it on our desk over here. So it's just chilling. It doesn't have a stand, nothing. It's just kind of planted there or it's hidden behind a plant, right? All right, everyone. So I hope these tips helped you. I hope you can now get better audio on your videos. Hopefully we're gonna start hearing better audio from you guys. So yeah, I hope I helped and thank you for watching. Bye.